Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Don Labonte. Uh, this is our eighth hour studying our conversation patterns. Hard to believe, but it's almost a third of the way through our program here. If on the left you will see uh, the patterns that we're going to study during this um, hour that we're going to focus on, it can be found in the teacher's guide under um, I tend to. Uh, many of the issues of teaching a language um, address frustration levels that uh, students have learning conversation. Um, I address those frustration levels by helping them to gain confidence by teaching them patterns that they're going to hear every hour, every time they speak with an American. It's not something they're going to hear once every month or once every year. It's something they're going to hear every day, every hour they're listening to uh, native speakers speak to them or to somebody else. Um, I am providing a method to the madness which will decrease fr frustration levels they have, confidence, lack of confidence levels that they may have um, by focusing on the patterns. Once again if you get sidetracked by with beginning students with issues of like um, slang or idioms um, you're really wasting their time as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing more awkward than to hear a beginning student using slang or video, uh, idioms. I mean, it just it just sounds crazy. I mean, they can't uh, hold a basic conversation and they're using slang or idioms. It really doesn't make sense to me. So uh, what we're doing is giving them a method to the madness of learning conversation skills. We are bolstering their confidence level in speaking because when they speak they can speak with confidence that, that, are, that they're not making a mistake. For example, you know, if they we've learned the pattern I feel like verb ing, um, you know, if, if you change any of these patterns um, you're making a mistake. You cannot say I feel like go, I feel like to go, the pattern is I feel like verb ing. Change the pattern, they make a mistake. By knowing the pattern, they can speak with confidence that they're not making a mistake and that they sound good. You want them to give them the, give them the confidence that they're sounding good. So here we are with our seventh, is it the seventh hour? It's the eighth hour of uh, conversation pattern practice. Um, this will complete most of the patterns that we have with the simple verb. Um, I study, I tend to, and I pretend to together because they sound uh, pretty similar and it confuses students a lot. So I study those together. Um, I only and I just are the same. However, I just has three separate meanings. One is something you know that happened a couple seconds ago. You know, he just came in. It's a time factor. Uh, another is, you know, I only, I only eat, um, I only drink uh, Heineken. I just drink Heineken. It's the same. And the third one, which is very useful, is uh, when there is no reason for doing something. Or you don't want to tell somebody something. You know, if somebody asks you, why did you go there, and you don't want to tell them, you can just politely you know, tell them, you know, I, well, I just went there. Um, why does he like her? You know, he just likes her. I don't know the reason. So just is um, used a great deal in conversation. It does mean only, but it also has these three separate meanings. With the next pattern, I would rather go, I would prefer to go, I would prefer going. These are relatively the same pattern, the feeling. With these two, you can um, not use would, and it's exactly the same. I prefer to study. I prefer studying ING. It's the same. The question, if you have a would here, you do not use do, did, or will. You use would. Would goes to the front of the question. Would you rather go? Would you prefer to study? Would you prefer studying? Obviously, in the examples here, if you uh, get rid of uh, 
you prefer not to use would here, uh, you would use do. What do you prefer to do? What did you prefer to do? What will you prefer doing? The last three patterns uh, have no question form, so you'll have to make examples uh, uh, with the students. Uh, I may and I might are exactly the same. There's no question form to that. Um, I can't help and I can't help but go there, uh, you know, expresses the feeling that um, uh, those, it was out of your control. You had to do it. You, you couldn't help but um, meet her. You know, there's, I, I had to do it. That is the feeling here. Finally, on the bottom we have uh, um, all I do is. All I do is is the same as I only. Look at this, you get three verbs here. All I do is study. In the past tense, all I did was study. The future, all I'll do is. Is is used here too. All I'll do is study the present, the past, and the future. In the final example, with all I do is, and once again, there's no question, so it's difficult to, um, you know, ask a question and have them answer since there is no question. N here is an abbreviation for now. So you, all I study is English. All I eat is popcorn. All I drink is Heineken. So, um, it's used a lot in conversation, but there's never a question form. A spare time that with the hour that you have should be used, uh, once again, in reviewing the other patterns that have been used, constantly reinforcing, helping the student to train their ear to listen for these patterns in conversation and be able to respond to people using the same patterns if um, asked questions with the pattern. It also gives the student an ability to control a native speaker and they control them by knowing they can relatively predict the answer because the answer usually is only in a positive or a negative form. You can predict the answer just by using the pattern, do you want to study? Generally, the answer is only going to be, I want to study or I don't want to study. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. I'm not ready to go. Would you rather study? I would rather study. I would not rather study. So they can, you give them with this methodology a way to help control the native speaker, calm them down, you know, slow them down a bit so that you can understand what they're saying. Thank you.